you are watching Access LaPorte County, Channel 97. Coming up next is the August 22nd, 2022 regular meeting of the LaPorte County Council. You can find more information for this meeting by visiting www.accesslaportecounty.org. Good evening. I'd like to call the LaPorte County Council regular meeting for August 22nd, 2022 to order. If you haven't turned off your cell phone, please do stand for the pledge. Ms. Brett Rosa. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd also, and I apologize for not doing it sooner while we were standing, but a moment of silence, if we could, for uh, Congresswoman Jackie Walorski, who passed. So let's take a moment to uh, remember her in our prayers. Thank you. Roll call, Mr. Auditor. Councilman Cunningham. Present. Councilman Yagowski. Present. Councilman Rosenbaum. Present. Councilman Novak. Present. Councilman Molinar. Present. Councilwoman Gramarosa. Present. Councilman Garner. Present. Thank you. Um, approval of the August 2022 20, agenda. I'd like to make a motion to add the following things to the agenda before we approve it. On the new business, under one, to add the letter D, we're going to add the community corrections to be able to hire an intake analyst. Add the letter E for the maintenance, facilities maintenance, to be able to hire a full-time housekeeper. This is to replace someone. Then I'd like to add the number four. We're going to discuss the highway department and some road paving issues. Along with a permission to hire. With a, a for highway? Yeah. I did not realize, then I would have put that as an F, I'm sorry. No, you can keep it all under the same category. All right, Come so on. then, okay, and permission to hire. We'll need anybody a second to Any questions to those? Second. Sorry. Okay, brother. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Where were they? Approval of the July 25th, 2022 agenda. I mean, minutes, 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 minutes. Motion to approve. Second. Motion by Mr. Rosenbaum, second by Ms. Gramarosa. Any questions or comments? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Public comment. Public comment is now open. Anybody from the public that would like to speak? Good evening, Mr. President and esteemed members of the council. Wow. Good evening. Uh, Alan Stevens, President, South County Community Coalition. Uh, a little over a year ago, we had uh, a workshop and you guys decided to fund uh, membership in the US 30 Coalition. Uh, and I don't really remember if, if you agreed to fund it for two years or one. But I know that our, our two members that are uh, attending the meetings are uh, back to being uh, harangued for membership dues again. So I, that's I, being paid out of the economic development. So Tony Rodriguez is the guy you need to see about that. And he's here. Right there. Oh, there's him right in front of me, too. Give your hand, Tony. Give him a little weight there. <laughs> there Tony. All right. That's all I had. Thank you. No, thank you. And I would like to thank you guys for attending the meetings. Yeah. Does anybody else from the public like to speak? Anybody else from the public? Anybody else from the public? Anybody else from the public? Public comment is now closed. Move on to department head reports. <coughs> Any department head? 
Mark Houston, 911. As discussed earlier, um, council people, we came up with the 5,000 part and it's $92,154 that we're asking support for. Give me that one more time. $92,154. That'll take you through the end of the year. I'd like to make a motion to approve. To motion of support. Motion, motion of support. Motion of support. support. Yep. I'll second that. We have a motion by Ms. Gramarosa, second by Mr. Rosenbaum, to uh, increase the pay by $92,154,000 in the 911 center. Mr. President. That would be a $5,000 increase per employee. On the question, Mr. Yagowski. And again, I couldn't make it on time. I apologize. So this this is the month. The month that we and I talked about, Bart, that we take care of you for the first yes. year? Yes. I apologize. From now until the end of the year. Right. Okay. I'm sorry. Right. Yep. I just, for, for the record, if I may, does, does that include the increase for the director and the uh, assistant director? Or just, it's, it's all just the employees? All. Just, all. 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 So it's prorated also for the, the director increase? Yeah. Ten pay periods. Does that include everybody in the center, Matt? I was motion support. Oh. The the director, the assistant director, and um, network admin Roscoe, the three that we talked about, are more than five thousand. That's figured in at those numbers that you have. But it's only. But it's all in that number, yes. All right. Okay, but then what do we do for the other two? I I T. That's a completely separate. We pay our own I T out of out of our budget. So Roscoe, we pay. So that's the only one I figured. I, I but I was that. under the understanding that we were going to do all three. Go ahead. No, go, go, I'm saying we get a chance. So you finish your point. Yeah. Oh, I'm asking. Uh, when I asked a year ago, prior to this, uh, it, what it is that they're working. They're working for Darlene when, it, when Darlene needs any help. Both that and the sheriff's department. And um, but we know that their pay came out of each department. So I, I missed verifying that you voted for to allow. All the all the groups, the sheriff, nine one one, agreed to allow her to, to use the people that see fit, and so they've helped her out numerous times throughout the year. That was just to help us get to the I, the I, um, IT's bad situation we had with all the people that left her department. So yeah, I don't I don't disagree with you. What did we do about that? Because the other employee would be the IT and the sheriff's department. Right. So I just let you know that's what we voted for was just they're just separate items. Yeah. Right. That's all. They come out of a different budget. Yes. So then we have to have the sheriff and the IT director come up here and ask for their their IT people. Well, Roscoe that does sheriff and nine one one, and then sheriff has just um, a person for one of his own, and then Darlene has the others. So in this one would be just for Roscoe that that I'm asking for. Can I speak? Yeah. So um, identify yourself. Darlene Hale, Laporte County IT. Um, the network admin position is there's three of them. So I have three of them all together. Same job classification, everything. The sheriff will pay Roscoe or not Roscoe Ryan, his network admin. I pay from my budget my network admin, and then they pay out of surcharge or something for theirs. And they all answer to you. They do. They're, they're along paid out with, of the right, yes. right. And we do back each other up. Like when Roscoe was out of town, I had one of my guys on call to cover him for the weekend. When the radio issue happened, we, we all got together right. to people to help out. So it's been a combined unit. It's, it's yeah, worked we really well. Yeah, we back and forth. So are all three of them paid the same amount of money? No, they are not. Why and not? that's I brought that up at the budget. Are they currently? Workshop. No. They're not currently? No. No. So I brought that up. That's why I ask at the budget workshop hearing. To but their numbers of experience is not the same. Either. Okay, but we're talking positions, not people. We're talking Maybe. network admin positions. Because when we do the reevaluation, we don't evaluate people, we evaluate so the positions. question. The question is, is do they get it? Are there any increases? That there would be for the county side and for the sheriff side. Right. Because previously, the sheriff's IT person was actually classified as a jailer. So that is no longer. They are now network admin. It went through the job evaluation so committee. Did they, 
that raise that person's salary up to par it will for next, everybody. It will next year, except for the increase that you have provided for Roscoe through 911. So can we increase for those two? We can do anything we want. So. Well, because if you have three admins, all three admins should be making the same exact amount of money. If they're all, if if they're all three, if you're saying they all three do the same job, they do. They're all three network admins. And, and you're going to discuss the other two at our budget workshop. That's why I brought it right. up. Yes, that's what I understood. Right. Yeah. No, well, I thought it would be all three, but okay, the ones you, taking right. Care of they're me. taking Roscoe early. Um, my just because he's under I pay Roscoe. Right. So that's why. So, just a, so this is a motion of support, so we still got to do it next month again. So I, I guess that would be the time if you want to try and get in on it with the other two. Two. Okay. That would be the time to do it. This, so is Paul getting 5000 and Barb's getting more? How much How much is Roscoe getting? So Dish Roscoe right now is at fifty one uh, four ninety four. And with the the ten thousand, obviously sixty one. Ten thousand next year, right? Yeah. This year. No, well, well, next year. Prorated this year. So whatever the next ten months would be, I don't have it figured. I don't have each person broken down, but next year it would go to the full ten. We should right. sixty one plus. So I see the sheriff at the back of the room. Could you come up and tell us what your admin makes? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. What did you make next year? And I, but and you I would want your admin. In this as well, correct? So Roscoe, when all said and done, if we do everything that you've asked for this year and next year, Roscoe will be at 61? Yes. yes. No. What are the other two work. admins at? No, I'm stuck. I, if um, we do I everything they asked for. I can't tell you what this sheriff's admin is. Mine's at 46, 48, something like that. So why is there such a big difference? Everybody. Because ours, the difference with ours is he's been classified as a jailer. Previously. Um, yeah, and, and I, years. I agree that the, the salaries should be consistent with the exception of their, they may be at different step increases, but their base salary should be the same. Right. And well, the and they're unclassified, so they they are now unclassified, so they would not get oh, step well, raises anymore. Okay. And Ryan wouldn't anymore. Okay. It, that's and with that's the new thing. classification. Well, Rasco's at 51, you said, right? Currently. Currently yeah. I think the Sheriff's Department, Ryan, I think is around high 40s, 48, 49, 45, okay. So at some point, I mean, we have to keep them all at the same amount of money. Right. So can you explain again, classified and unclassified? So, so currently Roscoe, my employee, is set. So that 61, 494 is all he'll ever get. He'll never get a step increase for right. Five years, ten well, years, whatever. Five and five. What's that? Why can't we do five, five and five? We can do whatever that, we want. That's your decision. No, I was just I'm explaining just the step increases. That we may add to. He'll never. He's stuck at that one, yeah. So just so everybody. Aren't the other two as well? Well, well, currently the other two do get, you know, as of you know last year's budget, they both get step raises, but since they've been reclassified through the job evaluation. Neither of them would get stuff raises anymore. It would be a flat. Okay, so it'd be a flat rate. So it's equal across the board. If they get the same amount as the employee in the 911, it would be across the board with the same salary. Right. We're asking 61, whatever it is, and change. So all all the network so admin. Just so everybody understands, and correct me if I'm wrong on this, the 90. 2,154 is just us, our department. Correct, but it's it's going to be, it's the, is it the $5,000 increase or the 9,000? Five. That's five. So then why, why is, why, why is the IT director going, why, so the, why is the other people saying, going so higher? The director, the system director, and the network admin are not at the 5,000. That's the one that we discussed, and that was the numbers that, that we did. We, I understand that you're proposing them to be higher, but why are they going automatic higher and not stepping like everybody else? At why not only 5,000 this year? You mean like every, their step increases, you mean? No. No, I'm talking about why not between now and the end of the year, they 
you jump halfway and then just like you're suggesting for the employees another 4000 you're suggesting not 5000 now that's that 4, same number year. when we did the 5000 originally that's the number we come up with when we added this 9000 we didn't raise ours we left that we didn't add another 5000 or another 4000 to mine another 4000 to barbs so this is that original number that we talked about before so then when we come up with the 9000 today we didn't add any more that's where that number came from so that number didn't change from what we propose at budget hearings in, in the past. But the question, I guess the question is, is and then I'll let me guess you, why is yours not stepping like the others are stepping? You're not taking all the others straight up to the what you're proposing. Um, so why would yours, Barb's, and Roscoe's not be the same? Why would you not say, okay, we're going to go a portion of the way? 50% now and then 50 60% now 40% later something you're going you're going all the way up but everybody else is getting half now and you're asking for half well 60% now and 40% well, we, later but we do not add, we're not adding that other 40% to ours or we're I, staying, I get that I get that I, so I because, because, because you're putting it in now right so, I, if I had a chalkboard I could draw it out please I'm I'm not following so everybody, you're asking for a nine thousand dollar increase, five overall. Okay. Overall, yes. Overall, yes. At the end of the day, it yes, is what you're asking for. But you broke it up, so you're saying give us five thousand now for each employee. Till the from now until the end of the year. <clears throat> now until the end of the year, but your pays are going up much higher than that five thousand. It's not even in the percentage as no, that yours is not. going straight up maxing out whereas everybody else is getting 60 percent now and 40 percent next yes. year so why is yours not the same we didn't 60 percent now and then the rest will would, come first of the year i would have to refigure that number i i didn't change it it's with ours it's like it, it is where i was saying so i can go back and rerun that number and figure out what well we have to it would be we could do a it's a motion of support to do the five thousand Correct. That's correct. Right. Yes. That's so if we motion. do a motion of support for the five thousand now, and then we got still got to vote on it next month. So Randy, what you're saying is Roscoe currently is at fifty one. Mm -hmm. So we add five thousand to his at this time, right, right. now. And five thousand a year, and five thousand to Matt, whatever. We don't have a problem with that. We just when we figured these, it was just on the the dispatchers. We didn't figure it on our current salaries we didn't figure that doesn't reflect that so the 90 so the, ni the, the figure you gave us 92,154 does not us. include that was the number that I, yes that, that does is. include your yes. increase sorry about it does this. include a five thousand dollar increase for both of you okay. and Roscoe correct it, it includes what more no, than it's more than five thousand so we took our salary at the 82 because oh, right. the director at Porter County and the director at mm -hmm. St. Joe County at 97,000. Well, you know, you know, if if we do that, and that's no problem. If you if you, if you want to run the government that way, there too. Then we'll then then I'll make sure that you're in charge of all the tax increases for because the Porter County because that's not the way it works. Okay. I mean, it's simple that you're saying that, but we already told you that's not the way it works. So I know Porter County. Wait, I'm, okay. you mentioned statement, and I'm sorry. I'm just gonna leave it hanging here. I can't believe that this is a conversation we're having. I threw the numbers in because Porter County, well, I know what they're making in Porter County. But you know what, there's, there's people that move into Porter County. We have 110,000, 111,000 people in the Porter County. It's been that way for 20 years. Look at the statistics, huh? About 40. About 40 years. Look at the increase from Porter County. Where That's their tax increases. They are able to pay for that. Look at Lake County, same thing we're talking about. You want to talk apples and oranges, I'll give you the apples and oranges you want to talk about. Michigan City, La Porte, same population last 20 years we can't do that we didn't never mind it's an insult to the conversation the other thing that's unique is uh, we act like Stark County is not a bordering county because they're paying low less than us so we we include these two neighboring counties that are paying way more than we are but we never mentioned Stark County how much more are we paying our beginning 
I don't know about Stark County, Earl. Because we don't look at it, because we know they're poorer than us. But that's not where the, the employees are leaving our... I understand that. And going they're not going to Stark County. Going anywhere they want to. Know, but there's more money. Yes, I understand why there's more money. Stark County's probably got about half the population. Exactly. Or less that, than half. The that's right. That's Mark's point. That's his point, yeah. I understand. But we're not losing employees to them either. Well, of course not. They pay less than we do. Right. All right. Mr. Yagowski. <laughs> okay. So, there was a statement made here that two people were reclassified. I don't remember in the vote of the council that we reclassified. Could they refresh my memory on that? Darlene brought that up. I know. Okay, so that was at by the job evaluation committee. I know. They don't. I don't. Next year. I don't vote. Been I don't. I and I don't vote that. for the job valuation committee. That's the job valuation committee is a recommendation. Just like right. these are recommendations. Yeah, that's what I'm, yes. No, but yeah. you said they already changed. We didn't no. change them. No. You guys did not. No, it's that's going to be discussed. I just make sure because you said we changed these two classifications. Job that is what we I. We did not change. The no, you no, did not. Did okay. Not. He meant I don't want to make that evaluation committee right. change. But I want to make it perfectly clear okay. yes. because some of the council members go, oh, "Well, I don't. I know we didn't vote for this." Right. No, that's why I asked that it be brought up okay. because we have done others. Okay. You um, said that with the change of the classification, I said that's not the case because if it happened, there's no classification that's been changed. You said it, I didn't look at the minutes. Then we can do that separately. Okay. Or unless you want to throw, throw them in there. Yeah, I want to throw yeah. them in there. Go ahead. All right. Mr. Graham Morosa. Okay, so I'm going to withdraw my current motion, and then whoever seconded, do they have to withdraw? You, mean just, you second. Actually, I was, uh, I'll hear her motion first. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so my new motion will be um, E911 will get a $5,000 increase from now to the end of the year, all the employees, and to include the other two admin um, individuals for the Sheriff's Department and IT. I'm sorry, but I can't second that. Two things. One, it would... I'm stating I can't second it for two reasons. One, we need to say that it's pro rata of $5,000 for the rest of the year. And the second one, we can't lump the other two in this when their classifications aren't changed until it's been until we change it. Right. So at that point, when it's changed, then I could agree to that, but I can't agree to that now. Right. I'm actually, Mrs. Grammar, so what we're asking for is just for 911 at this time. Are you okay with that? This this um, money is just for nine one one and my admin. Second. Okay, so when are we going to hear about the reclass? At our September. We will bring that up. Okay. Uh, we'll present that at your next September okay, twenty. So then I'll make the motion for E one one five thousand dollars for all the employees. Prorate. Prorate it for the rest of the year. Good with that. I'm okay to second that. All right. Motion by Mr. Graham Rosenbaum. Support. Seconded by support. Mr. Rosenbaum. And Is then you'll come back to us with the right figures, right? right? Yes. Any other questions or comments? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Nay. Nay. Do we have two nays? Thank roll you. Roll call, please. Mr. President, roll call. And this time it will be random. Councilman Garner. Yay. Yeah. Sorry? Yes. Councilman Rosenbaum. Aye. Yes. Councilman Mullenauer. Aye. Councilman Cunningham. Nay. Councilman Yagelski. Nay. Councilman Novak. Aye. And Councilman Woman Gramarosa. Aye. Five ayes, two nays. Thank you. Thank you. Any other department heads? Oh, look at it. They're all like ready to jump. Quick. I'm Matt Burden from the uh, Redevelopment Department. Uh, thank you, Mr. President and Council members. 
Uh, I respectfully request that the council make an appointment to the County Economic Development Commission. It's an entity we don't use very much. It has very limited circumstances. It's used in really doing three different things, bond issues related to industrial revenue bonds, pollution control bonds, and for the identification of, uh, of, of property tax for uh, commercial. Uh, in retail. In this instance, this has to do with the request that was made of the county for an industrial revenue bond. Um, I know that the president is involved with the Redevelopment Commission because you're the president, and I'd leave it up to the members, but we have appointments that have been made by the commissioners, uh, Mr. Carr from the Building Trades and from the City of Michigan City, Mr. Prisbolinski, former Redevelopment Commission member. So respectfully request that the, this body uh, uh, make an appointment to the Economic Development Commission. Your pleasure. Is this something that has to happen? I mean, can we ask for people who want to apply for this job? I, I'm asking a question because I mean, I'm not. You, you, you can, Mr. Councilman. It, uh, Michigan City just did it at the meeting, and, and Don was there, and he said, "Sure, I'll be on it." Um, we we don't have a pending transaction today. It wouldn't be. A yeah, we only have like meeting. we only have like ten appointees. Most of ours are one on a library board, one here. We don't even have much, so right. I like to give the citizens some opportunity. So we like to hold it off to this next month's meeting. We'll vote. That'd be great. Not not an issue. Um, put it on our next agenda. That'd be great. Would you like us to put out a media announcement? Uh, yes. Float it past uh, President Commission President to, before issuing it. Mm -hmm. That's fine. No no issue. Um, Sorry. Thank you. No no no. Thank you. You're good. Council President. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else from the department heads? <laughs> Good evening, Steve Eirich, Adult Probation. So I'm requesting permission to spend $11,972.95 from probation user fees for computers for Superior Court 2, including monitors and software. It's under new business. Are you it's, it's not in the uh, agenda. Oh. It's not under, he was asking. Oh. It didn't make the, for department heads? Yeah, he's asking permission to spend. Is all. Does it would it be out of the probation user fee yeah, fund. I know what you're doing. I just, right. Okay. This is for Superior Court to Judge Stalbrink's court. Sure. And Darlene yeah, went through the computers I, and. I have a problem with that. I just, I probably just ask. Even if you missed the deadline, you can at least put it on the agenda. That's all. Right. That's all. I was advised to come up at the department well, heads. He, it was in the hall. Yeah. yeah. Is, and you said it was eleven thousand. Uh, eleven nine seventy two ninety five. So, motion to support. Motion by Mrs. Graham Rose. Second. Second by Mr. Yagowski. Any other questions or comments? Just okay. if we could next time just put it. We we can change our agenda Absolutely. because everybody will be doing that. I just, yeah. just comment. Um, <coughs> is this a motion to support? Or can we just do it? This is you can just do it. Just do it. Just, it's, okay. It's their money. I just want to make sure we yeah. we say the right words. Yep. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Thank you for considering. Thank you. And that was to just do it. That was an emotional support. Correct. Right. right. Okay. Thank you. Let's do it. Any other department heads? Jeremy Sebecki from the Parks Department. Um, first, just wanted to say thanks to everybody that came out to Bloom for the uh, dedication and the ribbon cutting for the new playground. We had about 100 people come out. Uh, had a good, good turnout for that, and it was a nice day. Um, Second, I uh, same situation. I had an air conditioner go down um, today. Had uh, Doug from uh, building maintenance come out and look at it, and basically a compre the compressor is bad. It's a 20-year-old unit. Uh, it serves our restrooms and hallway at um, for the office there, or for the rental hall and the offices there. And um, there's a so I've got two of these same units, and they're both 20 years old, and we're constantly having to work on these. And um, this one is, is so the, the compressor's bad and the uh, coils are, are leaking Freon. So um, I Doug got me a quote for one um, from uh, Berkheimer, and the total was 48.84. I would like to I'm see passing it around. Right now, Mr. Okay. Gaskin, I'm still being, yeah. yeah, I'd like to replace both of them while we're doing this because, we're, like I said, we've had issues over the years and we're well, constantly I, I, having dug out. My point is, I, I'd like to see what the cost difference is. This, should, this stuff should go through the building and maintenance department. He's still part of the building and maintenance. All, all these facilities are part of building and maintenance. 
he has at least he has a budget he can emergency pay for something get it put in and he, we can always readjust his budget we do that all the time he also has experience we hired a he and air person i rather yeah Doug, that's Doug. yeah Doug's, and he's talking yeah he would oh, be putting this in the one telling yes. us i know but i we got a budget. A I know, but I got a unit, Sorry. but I don't have anything else with it. I, I'd rather, I'd rather just go. I'm not saying you can't handle this, and Doug's finally doing it, but I'd rather go through that part because he takes care of all these issues. We are. Yeah. Doug would be doing the work. Doug, we Doug got this quote. The equipment. Yeah. So how much is it to buy one and not two? What, do we get a discount? One is forty-eight eighty-four. It's two. It'd be twice that. So I just, I just don't see the purpose of buying the second one at this point because we can buy that at, at the first of the year okay. if that's what we want to do. So I mean, I'm just that's what I'm saying. I'd rather have gone through the recommendation from the HVAC guy that, that's employed with us said that it, it should probably replace them both. Yeah, they, he's been saying this for a while. He's been saying this for a while. Yeah, and a lot of people. So I'm saying that that's I'm what just the giving you the information I, I got. Yeah. So they say it for a while. One of them needs repaired. I understand it. There's no discount for two. I. But just feel that one time. I make a motion we, that we vote for just one of these at times. Second. That the motion of support, correct? Motion of support. Right. Motion by Mr. Yagowski, second by Mr. Cunningham of support for one HVAC unit not to exceed 5,000. Is it 4,000? 5,000 is fine. 5,000. Not to exceed 5,000. Right. And yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying the next one won't be voted on. We'll do it at, at proper time. Right. I understand, Mark. And, and I think the uh, logic there is that. You can't rent it out if you don't have air conditioning. You've got to fix this one right now. Yeah, yeah. This is for the 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 hallway and the restrooms. It's not actually for the rental hall, but those people use the restrooms. Right. And yeah. So it's it's not good. And this is at Bloom. <laughs> no, uh, Red Mill at the main our main rental facility that we rent out just about every Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, on the question, Mr. Molinar, uh, are we sure you couldn't get? Two of them a little bit cheaper, or you don't know that. Well, he, we didn't. Ask, we didn't. He didn't ask that. He just got a price for one. It happened that I, I noticed that it was hot at one o'clock this afternoon, and so I mean it was all last minute. I, the other one's a smaller unit. Yeah, but barely smaller. I mean it's it, it serves our office. The other one does. Oh, but, okay. So all right, Mister. Uh, go ahead. Bigelski, would you be willing to modify your motion that if they can get a discount by buying two? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. Before you pay for one, negotiate, see if you can buy two units at the same time. Okay. I, I would second that. Modify. Same thing. So the motion has been modified. Do you yes. get that? Yep. All right. Any other questions or comments? Just as support. Right. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Thank you. Any other department heads? Any other department heads? You going to wait? I you added me on. Um, later on we did never mind I'm sorry I was giving him that look like why are you <laughs> waiting uh, any other department heads there are none department heads closed liaisons let's start with Earl mr. Cunningham I'm sorry that's all right as a retired educator I'm uh, proud to announce this evening that we are being visited by five students and a parent from the South Central Schools Mr. Holsky's social studies class. Pleased that they are here. And as Mr. Garner and I are both South Central graduates, and Mr. Stevens sitting in the office, office is uh, actually on the South Central School Board, I can't tell you how proud I am that you're here. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Yagelski. The South Central satellites, Mr. Yagelski. Go satellites. Go satellites. Go satellites. Again, with uh, thank you for the uh, for uh, Congress Rolewski's um, um, trip this this morning. Mm -hmm. She worked very strong and hard with me for the double track, and I, I was very proud to her and her team. Um, uh, we not, not everybody gets credit for, but she she came through and helped us out a lot for from our area going to South Bend, and um, uh, she was a blessing to have. Uh, with that we went to Washington D.C. to talk to her. She got me in her office and. We get to take pictures and stuff that you get to do when you go when you go to, when you get to go there. But uh, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure to work with her, and I'm truly going to miss her for that part of it. Thank you, mm -hmm. Mr. Rosenbaum. I'll pass it this time. Thank you, <clears throat> Mr. Gardner. Um, I think you all got the sheriff's email. Basically, he kind of spells it out where where his issues are. But the main thing is what we've been talking about all night long is conserving the officers that he has, and I don't know what we need to do, but we need to do something quickly 
so we don't keep losing these officers that these are young officers some with nine years or less experience and uh, we do need to address it quickly so uh, other that and that he says the cars are trickling in <laughs> slowly so he has more maintenance maintenance than normal so we have to address what he's put on his agenda so thank you thank you Ms. Grimorosa you know, we I received um, like everyone else here the uh, letter from Lynn Swanson and when you're looking at the amount of hours I'm um, her liaison she's spending anywhere between 60 and 65 hours a week um, currently her salary is thirty thousand nine hundred and fifty eight dollars and it comes out to about ten dollars and seventy five cents an hour you know it's something that we definitely have to look at um, we just we can't expect somebody when we're giving part-timers fifteen dollars an hour and as mr. Cunningham said earlier Bubbles Ice Cream is is paying their part-timers $20 an hour and we have our corner working for $10.75 an hour. We we really need to address this at some point too. Thank you. Mr. Molinar. On uh, July 26th I attended the economic development meeting. August 3rd I attended the uh, LaPorte County um, quarterly employee insurance meeting with GIS and on our August 10th as we all did attended the executive session and the meeting afterward for the vote on the human resource director position and on October 16th I attended a follow-up meeting uh, with LaPorte County uh, employee uh, insurance again with uh, more discretion more discussion on uh, with uh, fidelity insurance reps um, as Jeremy already reported on August 13th uh, there was the ribbon cutting out at Bloom County Park which was uh, my wife and I and my uh, five-year-old granddaughter attended which uh, she enjoyed it very much with playing on the new playground equipment and it is if anybody gets a chance to go out there if you got any grandchildren or really it's such a great park with the trails they have a new parking uh, well it's still the same parking facility but it's enlarged all paved new restroom so it's really something to go out and enjoy and that's out by Westville um, so I encourage anybody and all to go out there and they got a great dog run too big fenced in area for the dogs and um, I also want to shout out to the county highway for uh, enlarging the parking lot doing the excavation where it didn't cost uh, any money and also um, a farmer that we pretty much all know from last year's row crop uh, meeting out there uh, Mark uh, Parkman, he uh, donated uh, his time and some equipment to do some excavation work also. And uh, I just met uh, uh, recently with uh, Larry Lewandowski to discuss some maintenance uh, issues that he has, which I think he's reached out to probably everybody on. Andrew McGuire, uh, EMS director, with his uh, request tonight, and uh, uh, Mr. Mc um, uh, Beatty with uh, Acting Director for Community Corrections. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I attended the RDC meeting uh, this last month. Um, as you stated, uh, I think you said it very well about the ribbon cutting out at uh, the park. Jeremy and his crew did a fantastic job. Thank you for all the other departments that helped out. Um, FMEC um, is an ongoing thing. Um, and 911 meeting we had, um, I think it was week before last. So, thank you. Any correspondence? There's none. Thank you. Ordinances and resolutions. First ordinance tonight, by title only, if there's no objection. Motion to read it by title only. Can we first get a, a motion to uh, waive, waive the rule for just one reading? We're going to do one reading on Suspend that. a rule. This is an ordinance. To suspend the rule for one re so that it's only done in one reading. Right. Second. We have a motion by Mr. Rosenbaum, second by Mr. Molenauer to have both readings tonight. Any objections? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. The ordinance. Now is it a motion to read by title only appropriate? Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Motion by Mr. Rosenbaum by title only. Second. Second by Mr. Molenauer. Mm -hmm. Question. Mr. Is this, is this to straighten out some of the ones we can't find? We've voted for this in the past just to try to get things straightened out or just have to be done yearly? No, I think basically, I think they changed the amount. Change. Okay. I believe they changed the, the commission changed the amount, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it, it was actually changed to the ordinance. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm just so with. we're talking about the joint ordinance, right? The ordinance to adopt the, the recorder's fee? No, no, that's uh, next. That's every year. This is the, the answer oh, to that sorry. question that's is every year. Still yeah. in, we're still on the first page. Skip page. Sorry. I appreciate your enthusiasm. What they did change is they're adding a penalty. Penalty for not paying it. That's what the previous ordinance lacked. And right. increasing the right. fees. Right. Yeah. Any other questions or comments? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. I didn't read, nobody read didn't the read, uh, We didn't read the wait, title. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> this is for by title. Oh, by title only. Oh, sorry. All, right. all those in favor say aye. Oh, aye. 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 Those opposed? Not too often, but I was <laughs> right. I, I apologize. Right. <laughs> yeah. This aye. is um, ordinance, an ordinance amending order number. Mr. Attorney, is that supposed to be ordinance, not order number? I don't know. I didn't prepare. I, I don't know. I didn't prepare this ordinance, but uh, it probably. Uh, number. Ordinance amending ordinance number 2009-03 to add penalty for failure to pay the yearly sex or violent offender registration fee as well as failure to pay the address change fees. What's your preference? We're going to do two separate votes or we... Just... In the past, you don't you don't have to, but in the past, when you do ordinance, you have. Okay. So any way you like. All right. Motion to approve. Motion by second. Mr. Yagowski, second by Mr. Rosenbaum. Any questions? On the first reading, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, thank you. Uh, I just may, would like to make a comment. Um, I've asked to pass down to the students the actual resolution so that they have it in case they need to report in their class about it. Sure. So that they'd actually have the actual words, not title only. Up on the one side, ready. Mr. President, Mr. Yagowski. Motion to approve under second reading. Second. For, for uh, okay, sorry. Ordinance 2022. That's okay. Yes. Motion by Mr. Gelsky, second by Mr. Rosenbaum on the second reading. Any other questions or comments? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Moving on to res next resolution, resolution 2022-07. Mr. Gelsky, uh, every year. Every <laughs> motion to approve. No, motion by title only. By title only. Motion, by motion to suspend the rule. <laughs> motion to suspend the rule. Would you like that one? Yes. Okay. Motion by Mr. Cunningham. Second. Second by Mr. Rosenbaum to suspend the rules and have both readings tonight on Ordinance 2022-07. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. <laughs> Motion to read by title only. Motion by Mr. Rosenbaum by title only. Second. Second by Ms. Gramarosa. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Mr. Auditor by title. Uh, this is an ordinance to adopt <coughs> Request to use recorder's perpetuation fund to cover office expenses and salaries. What's your preference? Motion to approve. Motion by Mr. Rosenbaum. Second. Second by Mr. Graham Rosenbaum. Comment. Comment? Okay. Yeah, I, I, just to let people know what happens every year, there's a perpetuation fund that the recorder uses to pay a lot of our, her expenses of her department. Just happens to be a her this year's of that department and so we go through this annual ordinance so that the monies can be taken from that fund and it is and so that we allow it to be taken from that fund so that's what this ordinance is about thank you any other questions or comments hearing none all in favor say aye aye those opposed thank you second reading motion to approve a second reading motion by second. mr Ugalski, seconded by mr cunningham for second reading any questions or comments Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Moving on to resolution 2020. This is resolution 2022-07. Do we need just one? Yeah, it's, it's a resolution. It's not right. So. Motion like to approve. Come Title up. only. Mr. President, do you want to come well, up? Did you want to end the speech? Want to come up, Tony? It, he'll be brief. I'm, I'm shocked they're asking you to talk, but 
She <laughs> should be brief, right, Mr. Rodriguez? It's purely the council's we pleasure. We were that close to president. <laughs> we were that brief. close. Yeah. You can make it extremely brief and make a motion to approve. And motion to approve. Second. Right. Well, you got to do by title. The motion by title uh, only first. It's a resolution. A resolution. We don't need to do that. So I'm sorry. I second. Got up on that. We have a motion and second. Would you like to explain briefly what the resolution is? Very exciting uh, to to have the opportunity to talk about uh, making broadband internet access available to our rural Laporte Countyans. Uh, the next level, what we coined as the third times a charm successful okra grant, has made vast expansive uh, improvements in the connectivity. We intend to have a workshop with all of the vendors that offer service in Laporte County on October 7th. And that is going to be those uh, vendors rolling their sleeves up and showing uh, all of Laporte County where they're at today and where they're going to be extending their construction by deploying this okra next level uh, grant funds. Um, so with that being known that we're making these huge strides, this middle mile grant application that we have before us for your consideration this evening is uh, quite frankly, I, I, it's, it's most likened to building highway. This is the, the middle mile fiber optic connections would connect, let's say Hannah to Laporte, uh, La Crosse to Wanata and make available these connections that none of the companies want to invest because the returns are so minuscule. Um, this is being made available by the federal government to lessen the burden. Um, we would, as the stewards of that infrastructure, enter into a uh, uh, an agreement with Neo Networks, they would prepare the grant applications and it would be the most operative uh, way to describe this is vendor neutral. So in other words, it will be av made available to all those that would make service available in Laporte County. And there's no match to us for this? Uh, the, the match that's required uh, by our design is going to be coming from the Kankakee Valley Rural Electric Co-op only because they agree to provide that <coughs> available. I do have with us um, the Chief Operating Officer of NEO Networks who could give you just a snapshot of what's required for us to submit the application. Uh, he's traveled uh, to us this evening to to explain that Absolutely. briefly. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Tony. Hate for you to come all this way and not get to talk. No, it's no problem at all. Good evening. Uh, my name is David Wojcik and with Neo Networks, and uh, we're happy to be here representing uh, the company and, and our partnership uh, with the uh, with the broadband task force to deploy to potentially deploy broadband into Southern Lamport County. NTIA is is the organization, uh, the federal government's organization under the Department of Commerce. Who's, who's the administrator of the million, uh, Middle Mile Grant Program. This is a $1 billion grant program being made across, uh, it's a national program across the country. We expect it to be highly competitive. Uh, the deadline for the grant submission is September 30th. There's a lot of work to do uh, to get from this point to that application submittal. We have started some of the preliminary work, so we do have a little bit of a head start, but we still have a, a lot of work ahead of us. The opportunity is unique. It doesn't come around that often. Uh, this is an opportunity to secure some funding to build middle mile, as Tony had said. The difference between middle mile and what you typically know as an ISP, who, who you call to get internet service, is that the middle mile infrastructure is the backbone of the network. So this is not a network that would connect to end users. This is a network that would help ISPs reduce their cost so that can, small communities will have more opportunities. They'll have more selections uh, to choose from and higher speeds, more capacity. And it also offers opportunities to farming, to farmers, to, in, to uh, industrial, new industrial development, and hopefully stimulate development in Southern LaPorte County. Currently, Southern LaPorte County is identified as underserved. So there's a list of criteria in order to qualify for the for the funding and uh, we think Southern Laporte County is is has a good opportunity uh, to be awarded some funding and uh, we look forward to working with you. 
Great. on the project. Thank you. We appreciate you coming tonight and filling us in. We had a motion and a second. Yep. Yes. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Thank you, council people. Thank you. <coughs> Moving on to new business. What's that? I don't know who made the motion. There was a motion and a second, wasn't there? I swore I swore we did. You have down I who called him made the motion and a second? Yeah. I know there was a motion to second because I, yeah, I Mark, asked him Mark, to talk. Mr. Yelsky made the motion. So. Okay, I just, I remember for some reason, second. didn't remember who second because of the conversations. So. Wasn't it you, Mr. Rosenbaum, that seconded? I'll, I'll take credit for it. Okay. okay. It'll come out in the minutes. In the wash. In the wash. Right. <clears throat> All right, moving on to new business. Consider approval from Council President's authorization to hire replacement positions for LaPorte County Juvenile Services Educational Coordinator and Youth specialist worker positions. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Cunningham, second by Mr. Rosenbaum. Any questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Next item is LaPorte County Health Department uh, for a nursing position that is vacant. Motion to approve. Second. Motion by Mr. Molenauer, second by Mr. Gramarosa and Mr. Oh, that's fine. Molina, um, nope. Rosenbaum. That's fine. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Next item is the LaPorte County Sheriff, front desk administrative assistant. Motion to approve. Motion by Mr. Molenauer. Second, Second by Mr. Yes. Rosenbaum. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Next one is the community corrections intake analyst. Motion to approve. Motion by Mr. Molenauer. Oh, did you want that? Second. Second. Second by Mr. Gramarosa. All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? They took that away from me. We got one eye on it. We got one eye on it. I'm an eye. I know you're all. I know. If you're not naying, you're eye. Just so you know. <laughs> Next one is the um, maintenance department, a full time housekeeper. Um, actually, I believe Heather. Um, Sorry. Hired her in the clerk's office. So motion to approve. Yeah. Motion by Mr. Cunningham. Second. Second by Mr. Gramarosa. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Sorry. Thank you. <coughs> Next item is Laporte La La Superior Court number one permission to transfer one thousand dollars from extra hire part time to office supplies and one thousand dollars bailiff. No, two. It doesn't. Ex and one thousand. So it's it's one thousand dollars. The other thousand dollars is going into the bail of supplies. Motion to approve. Second. Motion by Mr. Rosenbaum. Second by Mr. Cunningham. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed. Thank you. Laporte County Sheriff permission to spend from the Mr. Mita fund in the amount of thirty eight hundred and forty five dollars <throat> for additional labor costs for installing new switch in the jail. Motion to approve. Second. Motion by Mr. Rosenbaum, second by Mr. Cunningham. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Next item is the highway department. We'll do two separate ones. You you probably need to come up and explain. Yeah. They're looking, they have two people that are retiring at the end of the year, full time uh, people. Actually, yeah, they're veterans that have been here for many years. They're going to be retiring in January. Uh, so what we'd like to do would be permission to hire two seasonal workers um, at this time to fill in when when they're gone and with the option of possibly being full-time we'll see how it all works out but during that transition you know they're leaving at the worst time it could possibly be so for a nice smooth transition we'd like to have some people that got trained uh, can help out prior to and then just slide right into those you have the money for it yes permission to approve oh, motion by mr. Molenauer Second. Second by Mr. Kramerosa. On the question, Mr. Yagelski. Thank you. Um, okay, let's make this clear because a lot of departments came up and we do not give, I know people are saying that they want to train me ahead of time. We do not give permission to that, but you have you have openings for these two positions. We, we've done seasonal hires before in the past, correct? Right. You're just hiring, you have the positions. You've, we're not hiring somebody for those two jobs until January 1st. Those well, are, they will fill in to finish out the season and then 
I'll eventually have to say, yeah, we need to fill these positions. Right. So then I'll come back if you right. like at that right. time to say. <laughs> but we, the council has hired a seasonal part time, right? Oh, seasonal, seasonal part time, yes. Seasonal, yeah. seasonal part time at this time, too. Two Absolutely. So, right. And you have the funds for those positions? Yes, we do. Motion to approve. Well, we already did. We did that. Yeah. Mike Monauer. And <laughs> <laughs> All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Then you want to talk paving. Yeah. So we. Uh, paid $3.3 million worth of uh, uh, blacktop this year. We got it done very quickly. We're way above schedule. We usually we're towards the end of when the snow starts to fly. Uh, we have some time left. There's still, because of the price increases that we had from last year, this year, this year, for next year, you know, uh, they're willing to stick with the same price that we, that they, a government price that we got January 1st for this year. Uh, we have a couple um, of uh, uh, subdivisions that had not been paved yet. Uh, we look at, so we have some 3.3. We like to see, we have some money in the accounts and I was promised tonight to get the exact amount tonight. We look like $250,000 to continue paving since there's some activity that we can, we can utilize for this year, which makes about 3.5 million. So we have money in two, two accounts, which is lit. And in the um, um, MVH. MVH, thank you. And what are we paving? Oh. They're, they do it by. I, I don't pick a road. They yeah, all the roads have been, scale. All the roads been evaluated. We don't we don't pick roads anymore. So the worst road gets next, and the next road gets. Yeah, next. we we still have some on the list that didn't get paved this year. I mean, we have a very lengthy list, you know, and it's one of those where it's like, this is the typical amount we spend every year on paving. We actually went a little over with the three point three. We have not been invoiced total at this time. We're still waiting on that to come in, but. Should be 3.3. Yeah, so right now we're, we're, we're figuring out it's pretty close to 3.3. Uh, we'll have to decide on which subdivision or what road we could do. Just there's a lot to go involved with that. You know, that $250,000 is so many tons. Uh, then we have to come up with a, a length, you know, to calculate that out. Um, it may come down to we may have to do some prep work prior, some culvert work, something and, of that nature. And so there's a computer program we bought about four years ago. And it evaluates it went and evaluate all the roads so we don't do that anymore we don't right. we don't pick we out of the politics out of yeah. road. commissioners don't pick them. yes no we, we yeah we, we will have the program that's where that list comes from um it evaluates the roads from a, a one a paser one to a ten uh we work off the worst ones and we also can see the whole county so we kind of spread that out so everybody gets a little little piece of the pie per se okay Okay. Now, that's another issue with the uh, NACO magazine recommending that you do as much paving in 22 as possible because they expect it to go up 23 to 25% next year, correct? It's I've read different stories, but yeah, that's your price on that. It's going to go up. And the other thing is uh, I would like to personally thank uh, Mr. Warner for a uh, safety cleanup at the corner of 400 North and 900 West where the brush had grown up so bad it was tough to get out on the 400. Citizen in that area complained about their accident several times, and uh, within three or four days they were out there and cut it way back. Really nice job. Excellent. Thank you. Appreciate it. So Vaughn or Mr. Stables, do you have uh, the numbers for us? The, numbers. Was it the two light, the lit funds and the, oh, the two yeah. accounts. Talked on the phone this afternoon. The lit is... Um, oh. Lit is three million forty three, but we don't know what the three million that that's combined with that's economic development. That was right. The lit's totally separate. Right the lit's totally separate. You're talking about for the, the fund balances. The fund balance for lit. Okay. Uh, you could, the sheet you gave us said it's three million three million forty three oh forty seven. That's what's left, yes. And you said today we're on the phone that you thought it was one point three million that we had left in the for like roads, if we want to use for roads, some of it goes to the H. Right. No, that was the, that's for lit that we that's yeah. for the amount for lit we can use. Right. But the other one goes for economic development. How much is the MVH? Let me look it up for the record. And is is the you said two fifty? That's it. How much two hundred fifty for two subdivisions? What it cost? <coughs> Just the number. Okay. Is that? It just depends on the subdivision. I mean, there's quite a few, some substantially bigger than others. It's. Uh, can we make a motion this time yeah. to not to exceed two hundred fifty thousand, and then we can revisit this next month? 
if there's still available funding or do you need to get it in now? Uh, this is the important question because the timing of this right. is this critical. Yeah, because uh, one month is is yeah. Critical. It, it, usually, by we probably need to know as soon as possible just for the mere fact that we don't want to be paving and if weather goes south of us on, in October, we don't want to oh, be paving. You know, we got the money between two accounts. Yes. So, do two fifty is fair, or do we need? We got three. Or we have two fifty. What's the big number? Three hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred. That's fine. I'll, I'll change it to not to exceed three hundred. Okay. We got one point three million in the MVH. And this is and this is because it's, this has to be advertised. So this has to so just be a motion support yep. at this current moment. MVH doesn't. Am MVH I correct? Doesn't. You can spend on MVH. I can spend on the MVH. Right. But so you're, not go, you're not going to let you go on MVH. Well, he doesn't know that, but he. We so could. Let's give him a motion to support, and then next month we'll determine because you're not going to get invoice for it anyway. Right. <laughs> so you see what I'm saying? So you know we're going to do it, and we'll figure out where it's going to come out next month. Is that good? Yes, good. I'm fine. I'm All right. Support not Motion by Mr. Molenauer, second by Mr. Yagelsky. Molenauer? Oh, Rosenbaum. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I, got, I got taller. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> so not to exceed 300 miles. Yes. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Aye. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. All right. We're all caught up with that. Day. No old business. Okay. Appropriations, transfers. Mr. President, <coughs> Mr. President, uh, request. you don't mind, I could take this one. It was requested to. Um, it, uh, uh, it couldn't make it tonight uh, for some issues. Um, but anyway, this was the stuff was, we already voted for. Just so this is a vote for uh, uh, actual, it was vote for motion to this support. the advertised support. amount. Yeah, the advertised amount. Second. Motion by Mr. Yagowski, second by Mr. Gardner for the Port County maintenance, uh, requesting $20,000 for fixing windows in the annex and the Port County Community Which Directions one? HVAC Which one? amount of $35,000. Which account? Which account there, Terry? Riverboat. Um, Riverboat. Well, no, here's what I'm telling you. Riverboat. Yes, yeah. We're going to pay, we're going to take money out of there for the sheriff tonight, probably. So I would take it out of ARP then. Either yeah. account? Either yeah, one. ARP. All right. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Thank you. The Port County Sheriff is here for his final one third distribution of the things that he came for before for gasoline in the amount of 70000 extradition uh, return of fugitives in the amount of 4000 jail overtime in the amount of 20000 and inmate food in the amount of 123000 Mr. President, thank, <coughs> thank you for going to the thirds. Motion approved. He, he Motion by Mr. Mr. Yagelski. Second. Second by Mr. Gramarosa. From where? From um, uh, ARP. Okay. You got something you want to add? Or? He's like coming up. Oh, those like me to start. I'm going to yield my time to Tony Rodriguez. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> You're out of order, sir. <laughs> you will be brief. That's sir. Sure. That's I, it. I was watching the Kimster Brevity. Get him, get him in while you can, Mr. Sheriff. President. I'd like to give you a synopsis and a breakdown of Einstein's theory of relativity. Oh. <laughs> and then go and do a uh, brief overview of the uh, quantum physics. Mr. President. Mr. Rodriguez. I was watching the commissioner's meeting, and, uh, and the sheriff actually had a golf shirt on. Why, I, he dresses nice for us. I appreciate it. He, he dresses up for us. For, uh, yeah, we appreciate you it. You should have seen how I did on that hole with the windmill, <laughs> that shirt, too. <clears throat> yeah. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Thank you. Really Next item is the Port County EMS is here for their final one third. Of one, uh, it's a fuel in the amount of $6,667 $6, corporate, which is non refundable. Medical supplies in the amount of 28,333 and other ops, which is oxygen in the amount of 6,000. Again, Mr. President, they agreed to go by thirds. They already talked about it already. So, motion approved. Motion by Mr. Yagelski. Thank you. Second. Seconded by Mrs. Gramarosa. And a thank you to EMS for agreeing to that. All those in favor Which one? Which one? Same, same thing. Same one. ARP. <clears throat> Discussion. Yeah. Uh, and just a quick point, uh, as we had in our previous meeting, these are items where neither the sheriff nor the EMS increased their budget for 2,000 or 200 and 300 accounts. And when you multiply these by three, because they were divided by thirds, we're looking at um, $670,000. 
So that's virtually signaling to us that we're going to be $670,000 short next year and probably more because it's for the last half of this year. Mm -hmm. Probably going to deal with the whole year next year at higher, some higher prices. So I just think that's what and we see that it's going to keep coming. We're going to see more requests like this in October, November, and December. And yep. you've got to keep in mind that that's going to be a hit in our 23 budget. Thank you. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Next time is LaPorte County EMS requests an additional appropriation from Riverboat or ARP, both funds, for furnishing the Rolling Prairie Base. You want to take these separate? We'll take them separate. Furnishing the Rolling Prairie Base in the amount of $39,500 not to exceed. Thank you. Motion by Mr. Molenauer. Second. Second by Mr. Grimarosa. On the question, Mr. Gagelsky. You know, I brought it up here at the last meeting. This is, again, a lot of people's different pipe dreams, but we haven't got, we don't have all the money yet what it's going to cost, what we're going to be able to do. We're putting furniture in a building that we have no people for yet. Uh, we've asked for, I asked just before, over the years, to do a study. They did a study. All three shifts are not always the busy shifts. Like, for example, uh, Trail Creek only has a police officer on the daylights. They have their own cop. They, the sheriff's department has to do, th do three to eleven midnights. If they if, if we had if we have something effective and we're not using that shift, which we I went with you statistically sat down with, there were shifts that aren't being that three calls for certain shifts. We can still utilize the area that, that's being that that we were using up to this point. I, the commissioners. We're supposed to sit down with us and give us a whole plan to scan, but you know we're, we just we're piecemealing this thing together. That's all I'm saying. Any other questions or comments? I, I I would like to see this come out of ARP funds if we can. I think that's what I didn't hear what you said. They, so they talked about it after the vote. Okay, thank you. Any other questions or comments? I'd like to say I'm happy that it's out there. We have a farm out there, and we spent some time out there, and I want to know that an EMS station is out there and it's equipped with people and everything that they need Absolutely. thank you can i say one thing i know yeah, you yield to tony rodriguez <laughs> i know i know Sorry. that base will be utilized the the coverage area that we are implementing is a big swath of that northeast coverage area it's not just rolling prairie it's not just hudson township they were the factors in this but it's a big, big area that we're covering. So it will be used around the clock, every shift. There will be calls out there, just like the Wanata base is getting busier and busier. Um, so we purposely made that coverage area larger so that there'd be more use of that base. So great. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Next item is the annual maintenance contracts. This is one of the items that we talked about earlier that's an ongoing um, item that we need to bring up in the lit budget lit. next year. Mm -hmm. uh, image trend is 11,667 and that is, tell us what that's for. That's our report writing software. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the next one? Striker is our life, life pack 12 cardiac monitors. We have maintenance on every year. The Striker Lucas are the CPR thumper, we call them the thumper devices that we have. There's annual maintenance on those. And then NetCloud is what we access our vehicle modems with. Great. Motion to approve. Motion by Mr. Mola. Second. Second by Mr. Rosenbaum out of ARP. Also, uh, uh, for now, uh, it would normally be out of next year. Boat, but well, uh, yeah. Any other questions or comments on those? Very none. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Thank you. Next item is LaPorte County Sheriff request an additional appropriation <laughs> from Riverboat for Merrick Pension in the amount of 650477 Motion to approve out of Riverboat. Second. Motion by Mr. Rosenbaum out of Riverboat. Seconded by Mr. Molinar. Any other questions or comments on the pension? I, I, I got second. that right. I said it right. Yeah, you said. Yeah, I think I can or do I have to abstain. Does he need to abstain? Yes. Yeah, I probably do. Right. You, right. you have every year. Yeah. Is there yep. another? Yeah. Who wants okay. to jump in? Terry, you got it? Yep. 
Seconded by Mr. Gardner. Void uh, anticipate the microphone. Anticipate the uh, grudge overtime or uniforms to go down next year. No. Thank you. All right. This is right now. We're just on the merit pension. Is there any other questions or comments? And this is out of Riverboat. All in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed. Thank you. Everyone abstain. Next item, uh, garage. What's that? One abstain. One abstain. One abstention. No. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll, take, we'll take care of it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next item is garage uniforms in the amount of fifteen hundred and garage overtime in the amount of four thousand dollars. What's your pleasure? Motion to approve. Motion by Mr. Molinar. Second. Second by Mr. Yagalski. Where you want it to come out of? Uh, Riverboat. River River yeah. Any other questions or comments? Question. Yep. On the uniforms, uh, if I read it right, <clears throat> they're now charging you a surcharge or delivery fee that didn't previously occur. Is that correct? Correct. And an energy fee. And I'm assuming that's for actually washing them and drying them. They're getting creative. Right. They didn't increase the price. They just threw a bunch of add-ons. Right. And we're going to see more and more of that in the future, I believe. Yes, Mr. Yagelsky. Um Silly question, I guess. Uh, there's, uh, I, I don't see how many departments are, are have different uniforms. Are we using a central uniform? I, I, I don't know. I don't know what County Highway uses. Yeah, we have a uniform just for our mechanics. Do you have a service? Yes. Is it the same service? I don't know what. So, Mr. Mr. President, I think it's, it's a fair, I think it's a fair question, and that's not against the sheriff. Yeah. Uh, can we uh, look into and have a uh, request out, Vaughn or uh, Tim Stables, have a request all departments, what uniform systems they use, are they purchasing, cleaning them, whatever they're doing, can we get a report back to us? Because I think I hear and I see different uniforms, and I, don't, I, I, and I heard different increases, the price increases are going up a lot. Maybe we can buy bulk. I don't know. Any department that has a service. Keep in mind that our uniform rentals are only for garage mechanics. It's true with the uh, mechanics at yeah. the County Highway right. Department, not our uniforms that I understand. our officers wear. Any other comment? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. I, I just wanted to tell you as well, you did get my email that, you, that Mr. Garner had uh, referred to when I authored that on Thursday. Uh, I think we had four deputies, uh, four positions that were open. We now have a fifth on Friday. Uh, actually, this morning we received notification from yet another deputy that is leaving. Uh, we closed our application uh, period. We've received five applications for uh, five positions. It's just very difficult for us to attract uh, good qualified applicants, but it's even more important that we retain the current employees because if we retain them we don't have to look for new ones. Uh, certainly that's important because through attrition people are retiring but I just want to take this opportunity to remind you that we are losing more and more and we have approximately six right now that apparently have their applications out uh, for um, other law enforcement agencies. Thank you. Thank you. Can we make a recommendation to you that you also suggest to us something that might be done for the rest of the year. Yeah, in fact, uh, Chief Deputy Heeg is working on that. It's just about done, and, and we'll be more than ready when we have that lit workshop uh, in September. Thank you. Is and there, when we have our budget, uh, it, we were discussing it during budget hearings for the current year, but this might be a, another change to the salary ordinance if we try and do something. To well, we have to set the salary. Well, you mean for this year? Yeah. 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 If if we decide to do. Something similar, right? Thank Which you. Was Thank you. John, is there anything that we can do to to try and keep them? Yes, give them a raise. I mean, will that <laughs> stop it? <laughs> Maybe so. uh, and yeah, I think if it's competitive with um, with area law enforcement, uh, it certainly that will go a long way. Uh, I think at this point, they also need to know that that we are working on it and that you recognize it's a problem. You took a very valuable first step in adopting the lid tax, but uh, I think they need to see more than just it's been adopted. Exactly what your plans are, and if in fact they're going to be getting a raise that's commensurate with those agencies that are in our surrounding area. 
Okay. Thank you, Sheriff. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. Did we already do that? Uh, aye. The, those opposed? Doesn't matter. If we did it again, we can do it again. Laporte County IT requested a, uh, we did a motion of support last month, 90,357.75 for three years of antivirus protection policy. Vote. Motion Second. by Mr. Yagowski, seconded by Mr. Cunningham. Yes. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Which echo? Riverboat. Riverboat, thank you. Mm -hmm. I thought we passed. Yeah, we, we put them both together. Okay. Yeah. Did you get that? Did you say, what did you say? River. Riverboat. Okay. Yes. Uh, next item is uh, it's another one that we did a motion of support last month. Uh, family advocates request an additional appropriation from Riverboat. Motion to approve at a Riverboat. Second. Second. By Mr. Rosenbaum, second by Mr. Molenauer and Mr. Cunningham for 12500 The question came up today, how come this isn't going through the court? Since all your other money comes to the court, where am I looking at? Jay? I think it will go. It will go through. So we'll go to too. the court. It will go to yeah. Superior too. Okay. All right. Yep. All right. Sounds good. Any other questions or comments? Hearing none. I would just say that make that motion that goes Superior Court too. Just there. okay. So we'll, uh, make that part motion. Of your, make that part of your motion. That it goes to Superior Court too for to be dispersed. Yep. All right. Okay. All right. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Thank you. LaPorte County Community Corrections requested additional appropriation out of Riverboat or ARP for total court service lease agreement in the amount of $200,000. We got some questions on this. Okay. Yeah. I'm ready. So, first of all, explain what it's for. What, what the, the Total Court Services is our service provider for GPS units, our alcohol monitoring units. Okay. So why is it, and I'll take the lead on this, why is it that the grant, so almost all your funds come from grants from the state, correct? No. The, um, I can't think, Project Income Fund is the fees that our participants pay. Correct. And that's where our lease agreements come from. We've had an influx in pretrial participants who are on GPS or the SCRAM system and they don't pay their fees. And the courts are kind of put in a bind because they can't hold them not paying their fees against them and they can't hold them in jail because of it. So they're still sentenced to community corrections. So we have a host of participants who are not paying their fees. So that user fund mm -hmm. paid for this the first half of the year. Is Correct. that accurate? Correct. You just don't have enough, it's not generating enough money to cover it through the rest of the year. Correct. And is it typically twenty five to 30000 a month? Yes. I mean, even like last year? I mean, it's... Well, we've had an influx in clients, so last year was a little bit cheaper. But last year we had budgeted more um, that we actually did not have. Our previous director had budgeted um, $350,000 and we technically didn't have it then, um, so we had to go back and have money allocated for it. And this year we budgeted exactly what we had, and it still wasn't enough to cover. Mr. Yagowski. This has nothing to do with you. This was brought up many, many years ago. This, this process is the same way. We, we can force the payment of this thing. They, you say they don't. I know you're stuck in the middle here. That's BS. I know this has come up before. We, of course, have the obligation to collect our fees. And I'm, I don't, I, I don't, I'm not saying that you're kind of the spokesperson. I'm not throwing okay. you under the bus. I don't agree with this one bit. And we talked about this in our finance committee. I, this is, we, we, the courts can force payment or send them right back to jail. They, they, that's a, that was a situation that happened before. So this, uh, how, how critical is it right now? I mean, are you? We don't have any more money to support our GPS or SCRAM units, and we're actually behind the payment. This is covering six months? Yes. This is covering six months, but this is also something that we talked about in the budget hearings mm -hmm. about sitting down with community corrections, somebody from the advisory board, some council members. I make a motion that we approve $100,000. That should cover the one behind plus three months to give us time to approach the judges. Then. Second. A motion by Mr. Yagowski for 100000 from? Uh, Riverboat. Riverboat. 
Second by Mr. Mo Rosenbaum. Rosenbaum. I'll tell you. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? You understand this has nothing to do with your camera. But that, right. you're trying to I understand. Yeah. Right. And then we're gonna set up a we're gonna set up a meeting hopefully in the next couple weeks so we can Get that and get your budget can worked out. It, can we have it for our, our uh, okay. meeting meeting early, anyways? On um, on our our next month meeting. Can we do it then? Shop. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Stuff, so. Whatever you want to do, you got to advertise. Yeah. You, well, we can advertise the. Just, so so I would. Because we're probably going to owe the other hundred thousand dollars because I don't see them collecting the money. I, this is right. This can advertise cover, that for next month. Covers for three months. She's one month behind, so she's good for two more months. Right. So we got time. Yeah. All right. Number nine. All right. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Those opposed. Thank you. Re, uh, community corrections is also requesting additional appropriation uh, for overtime in the amount of twenty thousand dollars. Mr. President, this is this is to pay instead of comp time, correct? Yes, because we'd like to adopt for next year what the juvenile service center does is at the beginning of the year they ask their individuals if they would rather have comp time or overtime. The individuals who choose comp time, that's what they'll have for the year, and those that choose to be paid out, they would be paid out comp time. Mr. President, Mr. Gowski, we had talked about this also. Me, we we have strict rules for all our departments for this. Or this that, that we. I know, for example, we had emergency services that we had to do for uh, when the uh, we got hit with bug. certain people didn't get paid. We have we had to pay them certain people by comp time. I don't agree with asking employees whether they should get this or not get this. We have a policy in place. One, two, uh, the forty thousand from there comes out of their own money. I agree. Twenty thousand would, would be an ordinance. Do you get anything on the ordinance? You have, uh, I think we talk. It might have to be a. Would that have to be a change in the salary ordinance, or to create a? Well, you see, I, I have no idea because I have not been put in the loop with any of this. And, and first, I saw it. I, 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 I what, 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 what was when it came out? So yeah. I don't. I guess I don't understand. Number one about the county policies. You know what is what is the policy of that? Do they already have an overtime account at Community Corrections? No. No. So I, I mean, that's going to need to be established by ordinance. So um, in a twenty in a twenty thousand dollars we would too. Yeah. So I well that would well the twenty thousand the other one the forty thousand is their own money. That's their own money. I I don't know what we can do about their own money, but I. Right, but it's still additional compensation that the folks are getting. So if the fo folks are getting additional compensation, right, that's something that's going to have to change within the salary ordinance in, in and but, of itself. But it, but if you give them comp time, that's that's compensation so it's no different so this is reimbursing this number two item is reimbursing them for their comp time because there's not enough people out there to take I, I, I understand that but what what the, what are the policies and procedures of the county say regarding that we don't, we don't, oh, do we have any yeah we don't we don't pay we don't, nobody gets to come up here we don't pay at the end of the year because they want all their money what we do is on we change the salary ordinance to get them paid for because we had that Russian attack so we, were, we we changed the salary ordinance for the IT department because that was an exceptional case. Right, I, I recall that. But at the end of the year, departments don't come for us and say, we got this much comp time, we want to get paid. Well, and this is the same thing that, uh, I mean, we see this happening when folks are retiring. Thank you. Right, they have one, this, yes. but Playing we games. see that and, and, and we do that, but I've not seen the situation, so it needs to be looked at. So I when, understand the problem. Wouldn't they, wouldn't they the $20,000 for overtime, is that something that you would put in to the state to get reimbursed for next year? We can. You see what I'm saying? It would mm -hmm. be included in that versus asking us to fund it. But it wouldn't take effect until 2024 because our grant period is closed for 2023. I thought, I thought you were in six months. Aren't you in six months in ago? Interrolls? You're like, mid, aren't you the midterm? Not from my understanding. They give us. No, I think you're. They give us a grant for the year, but they only give us half of the grant at a time. At a right. time. Because right. I think you were but off our. But you artists. can't go back. And ask for more reevaluation. Twenty three has already been. I thought I thought they were, their calendar years was different than ours, but 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 let's just go back to the overtime. Typically, when folks have overtime issues, they come to the council beforehand and they say we're looking for overtime. So now we're trying to do this post hoc, and I understand the situation, and, and we're not pointing any blame, 
Uh, but we just have to determine how it's going to get done. So I'd like to make a motion to table this until our next meeting so that we can dig into it and make sure that we do it the right way. And item it. number one? Item number, number two. Uh, item number one is all I'm talking about right now. Okay. Because I need an overtime account. There's right. a couple things, steps that second. need to take place. Motion by Mr. Rosenbaum, second by Mr. Yagowski to table item number one. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Aye. One nay. Who's Requested. The next, the uh, item number two is. Mike, Mike, okay. Sure. Item number two is requesting to pay out compensation time totaling $40,455,035 from their own monies. So this is unused salaries. But yes. yes. Since the last time we spoke, that amount has increased to $52,290.16. Because of oh, count time incurred. And you have that much? Yes. Motion to approve. The only reason they have it is because they're short of employees, correct? Yes, we're down seven employees. Motion by Mr. Rose, Mr. Uh, what's well, his name over here? Yeah, the one one hour. Is there a second? <laughs> I got a question. I got a second. Let me get a second. Okay. Get a second? Can I get a second? Second. Second by Mr. Cunningham. Yes. Question I have, you, are you moving monies around or are you moving bodies around? We're moving bodies around. You need to ask these guys to be able to do that, to move the bodies to pay that. How are you moving bodies? That's not what it says. It says you're, you're, you're basically buying comp time with money that you have. Salaries. Yeah. In the proposed payout plan, um, I'm not sure. I, did you all get a copy of this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. So. Why everybody's looking? Can I ask a question real quick, then? Sure. Just, what What is your current? How many people do you have currently uh, housed? Housed right now? Well, how many? You didn't get it. You didn't get it to us. So we don't have it. Mm -hmm. I emailed it. Emailed it. Mm -hmm. Oh. And you didn't email is it, it to the. Can you explain to us what? It, wait a minute. Did, did she use a county mail uh, email? Yes. Well, don't, we don't have the county yeah. email. I, I do. Okay. I know you do, but we don't. Right. Well, so typically that stuff is supposed to go to the auditor's office so that mm -hmm. they can distribute it to us. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, how your question was how many people are housed out there right now? Or how many can we house or how many are actually there? How yes. many are there, including, uh, and then like a breakdown of how many are housed? How many are on monitoring? Because some of them are right or on GPSs, they don't come in. We have approximately 58 participants in the dorms, males and females, and then we have, I think, close to 240 on GPS and SCRAM. On monitoring. Combined. 240. Mm -hmm. So 300 total. 300. Okay. So. Do you want me to explain? Let's explain the moving people around. Okay. We have three different accounts that we pay individuals out of. I have two individuals that are being paid from the general fund. I have four, well actually I have four slots, but I have two that are being paid from our project income fund. And then I have two that are being paid from, one that's being paid from the state grant. Because we've been short staffed for so long, the state grant has had three empty spaces there. So that money has sat there and accumulated. If I move two employees that are being paid by the county to the grant and pay them from the grant, then we could afford to pay them their salary for the end of the year in addition to their payout for their comp time. If I move one employee from the project income fund into the state grant, we can afford the, to do the same with him. Can so I'm ask, just switching the individuals. Can I ask a question? When you all apply for the grant, do you do the grant based on a number of hours for folks in any one position? Or do you identify names? Well, I mean, even or, no, but just hours, because what because what I'm what I'm hearing is you're going to take somebody. Like when you do the grant, do you allocate hours for the position for the grant? Like, no, we just gonna, allocate, you, allocate a certain salary. Okay, allocate a salary. Mm -hmm. and, and within the grant, the state doesn't say that that's a full-time salary 
or it doesn't say anything like that. It's just a salary that's assigned. They're all full-time salaries. Okay. So, uh, uh, and, and I don't know because I, I haven't looked at it. So in my mind, that would be the state saying that's 2,000 hours for that salary. So I guess what we would have to check with the DOC, we have to check with, with somebody. If you're going to take somebody and put them, put them in that position and you're going to use that money up without using all those hours up, whether that's a violation of the terms of the grant. That would be my only concern without knowing. Do, 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 does it make sense? Absolutely makes sense. Okay. Mr. Yagelsky. Okay, really quick. You have two for the general account, our account, mm -hmm. two for project income, and you said two, and then you said one, one for state grant. Yeah. What was that last statement you made? Two, two, and one? It's two from the general okay. account. There's actually three people in the project income. One is a utility officer who's Freedom. being utilized as a residential officer. And then we have one person in the state grant. So I was going to go with the same thing that uh, you had brought up, that there's a conflict of between our general fund and, the, and this grant. You can't flip-flop those numbers back and forth. So it this could violate your grant money. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I would think I said, you have you a did, liaison said, you know, but at the at the Yes, at the I've DOC? spoken to uh, Danny Glenn, who's our liaison for DOC, and I've explained the plan to her, and she said nothing about okay, it. Okay, would it be possible to get an email from her saying that she's good with it? or yeah, he cool is good with Absolutely. It? Yeah, and that way we're we're good to go. Absolutely. Yep. But, she under, but we didn't understand. You're saying general. That's part of what the, count, the council pays. Mm -hmm. okay. And last year, we had a gentleman who had a considerably large salary and he was in the general fund and we moved him to the state grant because his salary would have exceeded what was in the general fund and we had no problems with it. It didn't even come before you. Good. Good. Thank right, so you. We told, are we, are we, uh, well, one of the things that we talked about Mr. Uh, at, the, at their meeting, uh, Mr. Lovett, what you're talking is that uh, we, even if we wanted to, this twenty thousand dollars has to be a salary ordinance change at very minimum. I'll have to look at that. I'm sorry, I can't answer that off the cuff. I'm saying because we don't allow compensation this way, it would have to be a salary change for it would have ordinance for us. We would have to change something. Yes, yes sir. Uh, yeah. So even if the worst case scenario is, we'd have to change our own rules to allow it to happen. Two, there's no rules that say next year everybody choose what you want. That's absolutely so. I don't know that we can talk about that later if you like to talk about it, but. That can't happen. Not for right now. So we have a motion and a second on the um, remaining um, payout compensation. I question. Yeah. Uh, one more time, just to make sure. I, I, before I make my vote, is the is the attorney okay with my voting this way? Uh, I would I would have to say it has to be uh, subject, to the, subject Sub to the attorney receiving the information that he requested from. Well, well, well subject from the from getting a response from DOC saying that they're fine with that, okay. and then we're we're good to go. Good. So we, well, I know we have right. motion nope. people, so we made the motion. Well, why don't we just that. table this until we find out? Well, because we need to. Can, she needs to pay him. She, yeah. We need to pay him. Can they, whoever made the motion, will they agree to that? I'm asking. Yes, I made my motion. And then yeah. second. Thank you, Mr. President. All right. Any other questions or comments? Just to the, the twenty thousand, you're going to have to you're going to have to ask for next meeting. Just wait on the twenty thousand. Get a letter of support from DLC. You need to check with DLC too, see if you if there's a way to amend your a budget request for next year in the grant, or at least make sure you get it in for the other one because that should have been in, if you're going to do it. But it also takes us to do something. But if if you build it into the grant, it we don't have a problem with it. But. Miss Beatty, I would suggest that I know you're throwing in this interim, you're doing a great job so far, but I would suggest that anytime you have a phone conversation with someone downstate, you immediately reduce that to writing by sending them an email. This is what I understood you to say during our phone conversation, just writing to get this confirmed. Sometimes if they're a little gray, then write your request to say what you wanted to say and see if they'll bite. Oh yeah, I remember that conversation. They might sign on a little more. A wise lawyer once told me that. Okay. Well, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Nay. Nay. We have two nays.
Thank you. Thank you. Next item is LaPorte County Park Department. Requested an additional appropriation from Riverboat or ARP for the nature center siding for 40700 and fuel in the amount not to exceed. Can we separate them, please? Sure can. I'd like to separate them and make a motion um, to approve the payment of the nature center siding out of ARP funds. A motion by Mr. Rosenbaum for second. the siding and second by Mr. Gramarosa, siding out of ARP funds. Any other questions or comments regarding that? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Next item is fuel, 7,000, not to exceed. I'll make a motion uh, to uh, for not to exceed 7,000 and I would do it out of riverboat. Second. A motion by Mr. Rosenbaum to pay out of riverboat for the fuel. Seconded by Mr. Molenauer. Any other questions or comments on that one? Quick comment, just to be fair, you didn't increase your budget for fuel for 23, no. did you? Thank you. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Thank you. Next item is LaPorte County Highway Department requests an additional appropriation out of LIT or ARP for two new excavators uh, in the amount of $460,000. And I think we talked about this briefly last month. Yes. Uh, the current uh, two that we have are 1999 models. Uh, they've started to become very uh, not very dependable. And it's kind of part of our replacement program. They're, you know, you're going on 24 years old. You know, they're past due, to be honest with you. Uh, so, yeah, I'm looking to replace those, not to exceed the 460,000. Um, the retail or the, the trade-in value on these things are only like $12,000 for one and 14,000 for the other. Um, in the last. 10 years we put almost over $65,000 in these machines and it's just getting to the place now when we're on on a schedule to try to keep ahead of the paving crews and all this kind of stuff in this day and age to, to get parts and to get stuff it's it's hard to do mm -hmm. um, so to do our job better uh, it's time to replace these two pieces of equipment I'll make a motion to approve at a lit but I also would also recommend that we do not trade them in that we uh, put into public auction Correct. because we believe that we might be able to get a little bit more money than six thousand dollars if we definitely get ourselves. motion by mr rosenbaum second second by mr molenauer from the lit any other questions or comments hearing none all in favor say aye aye, aye. aye. those opposed thank you okay thank you good good work next items laporte county auditor additional appropriation from the general fund for part-time not to exceed five thousand dollars Is the auditor here tonight? Not representing you. Me. Just, yeah, he's no. Uh, uh, Just give us a what it's for. Um, we've been using our part time a little bit extra because of some billing cycles for the for the bills that have been going out, and and tax tax bills and everything's going out. She's doing a heck of a job, so we got to use her more than that. Also, Caitlin's been doing our meeting minutes, uh, so we have to be paying her for that. So that's what it needs to go up to. Great. All right. What's your preference? Motion to approve at a general fund. Second. Motion by Mr. Rosenbaum, second by Mr. Cunningham at a general fund. Any questions or comments? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Aye. Nay. Thank you. One, one nay. Next item is LaPorte County Council requests an additional appropriation of Riverboat or ARP for the attorney in the amount of $2,100. I spoke with Vaughn earlier today. He says that your average bill is more than what we budgeted. Because you're doing some extra things on some ordinances, or some motion to approve. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. We have a motion by Mrs. Gramarosa, <laughs> seconded by Mr. We don't want to upset our attorney. <laughs> Make sure he gets paid. He's still <laughs> at a riverboat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Good. Say that. laughs> About time. <laughs> oh, name, Mr. Egoski. <laughs> Did you say riverboat? And in fairness, uh, Mr. DiMartino has riverboat. She didn't say it. I know I'm asking. Riverboat. Riverboat. Yeah. Yep. In fairness, Mr. DiMartino's uh, bills have been considerably lower than most other attorneys the county is using. Amen to that. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? 
Thank you. We should see him. In Next the item is Laporte County Clerk requesting additional appropriation from River Road or ARP or general fund for child support account not to exceed, well, in the amount of $13,223.53. What? There's, there's a lot going on with this. Um, Please approach. Yeah. <laughs> Since I came with all the deputies, all of this yes, for $13,000? So, well, it's a bit more Let me ask you this. Are you coming to us for overtime now to pay them next month? For being here comp time. <laughs> um, They're showing up tomorrow at noon. Yeah. Okay. I will say that a good leader has a good team around her. And a great girl. leader there you go. knows to there trust that go. team, sit down and shut up. So that's what I'm going to do and let them handle this. <laughs> all right. So the money that's being requested is money that needs to be put into the checking account for something that happened back in 2006. Marie was the only one here at that time, so if you have questions about the details of what happened, um, I did email the spreadsheet to Vaughn. It's just a short Excel sheet that shows the bank balance. It shows the outstanding checks and how we reconcile it each month. So what we actually need to do to correct the errors that happened at that time is we need about of roughly $32,000 so we can use part of the money that we have in the account for um, interest that we accrued we can also take part of the money out of our 4d claim fund so about t almost $20,000 can come out of there so what we need actually from you guys is $13,223.53 I'm make a motion for that amount to come out of uh, Riverboat. Motion by Mr. Yagowski out of Riverboat. I'll second. Seconded by Mr. Rosebaum. And, and just so everybody knows, the reason why we're reconciling this is because the state's taking this over? The state is changing the way the program is. So instead of being able to carry our outstanding checks every month to have it kind of cover this discrepancy that we've had all along, the amounts that we take in in the day have to be deposited that night, and then the state is going to be sending out the checks. So we won't be issuing any checks out of the account, so we won't have any outstanding checks as a cushion in there to make up the difference. Okay. And that's yep. going to happen, supposed to happen January 1st if they implement the program right, correctly. Right. I, I, I made a mistake. I think out of general. It's general. That's out of general fund. Yep. Any other questions or comments? The only other one we have is that I don't think it was on the agenda, but the 4D amount, what else, we would also be requesting that a check be written from that 4D claim fund for the 19654 that we'd have approval from the state for. So I don't know if we need you to approve that or not, but we need to let you know that that's an additional... You, you have written approval from the state to we transfer do. it. Just do it. I'll, I'll take both motions and... Then I'll accept both motions. All right. I'll second on both. All right. Thank you, Council. It, well, well, we got to vote first. So mm -hmm. there's no don't think yet. Okay. <laughs> you never know. Pretty person. Yeah. I'll hang out. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. Yes. Next item is the Port County Redevelopment Commission. Uh, this is something we did a favorable vote at the beginning of the year. It's for the um, 35. A US 35 slash I-94 economic development project in the amount of $1.5 million for the sewer and water expansion out there. Matt Reardon's here to talk about and to give us that insurance, assurance that the project is ready to go. Thank you, Mr. President and Council Members. Yes, the uh, we requested the funds in March to be set aside for the project. wasn't ready to move forward. Uh, there's been some deliberation with the property owner. The property owner had some issues that they had to cure on their own site. Um, they had to uh, um, expend some funds to uh, begin and finalize the process for wetland mitigation on their property. It was issues created not by nature, but by man. Uh, some hole digging and, and some borrow pits that were on this location, which is on 20 just south of the interchange. Um, we've had a couple of preliminary meetings with Michigan City Water and Sanitary about the project. They're aware, uh, similar to what the council and commissioners did with 421 and 94, we're going to move deliberately and carefully. We have a project in hand. Um, as some of you will recall that we're uh, on the Redevelopment Commission and Council, we had a lot of starts and stops with 421 and 94, but we wanted to make sure we got it right. It's my intention to recommend to the Redevelopment Commission we proceed accordingly. The first step will be to make sure that everybody's in agreement on a route analysis. Um, as you can guess, the utilities probably would like this line to go 
and a lot of different places. Uh, we're going to just make sure that we make the connection south so that we can get the first project accomplished before we look to expand in other areas. Right. Any other questions? Is there a motion? A motion to get out of ARP. M motion by Mr. Rosenbaum. Second. Seconded by Mr. Let me ask you a question. Is this is this something economic development lit would qualify for too? There you go again. Well, I know you last have to minute, advertise well, that one. it wasn't until we you gave us those fund balances and you said this much is economic development. Tony's going, why are you taking my money? But um, <laughs> but this but so why, of it why don't be, you do a either or and if it is well what if we took half out of one and half out of the other? Well, but I can't. Then we'd have to come back. Next we'd have month. to come back next month. Right. Yeah. We just have to. Yeah. Can we come back next month? Motion for Sunday. support. We already did a motion of support. Mm -hmm. If it would be appropriate next month, is that a problem? I think we we would like to get started on the route analysis. So if you use the ARP for half, and then let's. But what say if we just approve half of it right now? Seven hundred and fifty thousand. And then next month of ARP funds. And then advertise it for. If, if both you just funds want a little bit, month. then we should just give you. you know, you would have to come back. Okay. What's that? You wouldn't, you wouldn't have to come back, right? Unless I'll, you want to. I'll change the motion to be only seven hundred fifty thousand dollars out of ARP funds at this time. And actually, he would come back. Well, he doesn't have to come back. We'll just we just have to put it on our agenda. Yeah. You'll need to. You'll want. You'll advertise want to advertise it. it for both funds. Right. Oh, for for yep. the other funds too. Yep. Any other questions or comments? Yep, hey, Mr. Egos. I, I have a question. No, I don't. No, no. no. Sorry. Uh, Mr. Auditor, did you, uh, I believe this was advertised for all those funds. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, we covered that bag um, in the advertisement. It had lit, nope. ARP, I think you had all of them in the advertisement, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. It's, it's okay. Yes, Unfortunately, oh, we missed the one the we need. Agenda. I'm okay. looking for the uh, the advertisement. Oh, I remember when the office was uh, advertising. I had a question with uh, Vaughn, and I said, "How come you you have all those funds listed?" But he said it's typical that we list them all. So, if we miss lit, then yeah, we missed lit. Goes. So, question there. Yes, sir. Yours and me for mine. It's fine. So, with this project, it's mm -hmm. not tied in like what happened. Unfortunately, with some things over at. Um, at the uh, 300. It's no, there's no pipeline. No, there's no, there's no residents that we're interrupting that we're going to be. We have, no. we're going to do our fair. No. Okay. There's no residents in the area. But we will do more residential improvements or new residential street or the availability for residents right to tap in. We will communicate with any. We will communicate uh, okay. on a very high level. So, right, yes, fine. Sir. So my second question, which that's not the ever took you tied to Michigan City, but we totally failed on. Is tap ins. So we're going to have all the information for every resident or person or businesses or commercial property that can tap in ahead of time, not come up later on like the city did for our project. Gotcha. We'll do. Make we sure that's part do. of the process. We once we get the route analysis, we'll get the information together from from Michigan City so that we can start cascading Basically, that into the area. And he did advertise it. Just he did okay, advertise so it out of lit. Okay. Thank you, Vaughn. Ah, that's why I just I just found it. Thank, Thank you, Vaughn. A separate sheet. So not Vaughn. not to just keep amending things, but let's keep amending things. So we're gonna we're gonna approve seven hundred fifty thousand dollars out of ARP and seven hundred fifty thousand dollars out of lit. Economic lit. We have a motion and a second. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? Hearing none. All in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed. One more point, Mr. President, I'm leaving. Uh, that's not the total project cost. There'll be private sector investment that occurs, much like the, uh, there'll be a TIF match associated with the expansion of this. So it won't be just the county shouldering the burden for the improvements. It'll be the private sector participating. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Matt. Council comments or attorney? Mine real quick. It's my wife's ninth, six, nine, six, sixtieth birthday today. Happy birthday, Lori! I'm going home. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday. And, and motion to adjourn. A motion to adjourn and a motion of support for Lori for her birthday. Yeah. Sixtieth. <laughs> All those in favor, birthday. say aye. Aye. Those opposed. Aye. So, so where are we meeting?